I was just finishing my Sculpted Landscape series and looking for something new to paint. And um, this woman approached me at the Public Library in Moose where I work. I'm a reference librarian there. And she just came up and showed me her candid show and her photographs from the week previous. And I was dumbfounded by her photographs of the crooked trees. They were amazing. Um, and when she told me they're from Saskatchewan, I was quite, quite frankly embarrassed because I'd never heard them before. So immediately I knew I wanted to paint them. They were an unknown quantity and they just really appealed to me. They really resonated. Were you aware of uh, Dr. Renfrey's ex exploration of this scientific phenomenon at Immediately the time? afterward I was. I mean, as soon as I, this woman showed me her photographs, I, I, you know, I went on Google and I was searching for information. And uh, yeah, Bill Renfrey's site came up almost immediately and it turned out to be one of the best sites um, that I found. In fast information, period. I mean, I was looking at books that we had in the library. Um, for instance, the Saskatchewan Encyclopedia, which is like a thousand page book, reference book, no mention of the crooked trees. It's a book called Saskatchewan Geographic Perspectives, no mention of the trees. You know, I talked to people, and, and more often than not, no one had heard of them before. So, um, Bill's uh, website was uh, a wealth of information for me. Wonderful. Can you tell me about why you use this highly textured process? Um, I'm an untrained artist, or, or I've not gone to school for it, so I'm, I'm self-taught. Um, you know, I started painting thin, in washes, and it just was frustrating for me. Uh, I like to do things quick, uh, and I really like the way the paint uh, dried on the palette. I was really intrigued by the texture. It seemed like a landscape within a landscape. So I just kind of started to gob on the painting. and. Um, Almost immediately, I, that was my technique. It was kind of right out of the right out of the shoot. I started painting thick. Mm. It just there's just tactile quality about it. And um, after the fact, uh, you know, I, I saw a painting by Rembrandt, who from books I would not have enjoyed his work. I mean, they're just sort of somber colors. But when I saw a painting at uh, Minneapolis Institute of Art, I really knew what why he's a master because he paints quite thick. So I knew I was on to something. I thought I was on to something. So mm -hmm. I continued with that, and that's sort of my style. Yeah. Can you tell us what your color palette? There's been some of your the articles that have been written about your work have said that your color palette is completely not Saskatchewan. Right. Well, I would disagree with that. <laughs> I think uh, when you're from the prairies, I mean, it's certainly not apparent. You know throughout most of the day, but there's certain times of the day when the sun's at a certain angle that, you know, the sky is orange, but the sky is gold. You know, it's really, it's what the prairies are. So, yeah, I, I, I would disagree. <laughs> Respectfully. Yeah. And in the actual location, how many trips have you made to the yeah. little forest? Yeah, I probably went there um, a couple times just to kind of get my feet wet, not knowing what I wanted to do or how I wanted to approach the project. Probably about 17 times I went through Crooked Trees, which is a, pretty much a day trip from Moose Jaw. So it's three hours, so you're there a couple hours and three hours back, so it's a good day. Yeah. When I first went to the Crooked Trees, there were signs along the way, and they were, and they were awful signs. They were like, you know, hanging, in the, hanging on by one screw or whatever, and it was like Crooked Bush, you know, like an arrow. And I just thought, crooked bush, that, that's so kind of lacking the grandeur of the trees. But they're trees, they're not bush. But the crooked bush reminded me of the book by Northrop Fry called The Bush Garden, which he wrote, I believe, in the 1970 or something. And the book is about Canada's, or art in Canada, and literature, and Canada's lack of identity. And so it went from, um, and that, that of course is, in fact, the crooked trees. They are there. Around the quantity. So I went from um, the crooked trees to the crooked bush, the book, to Northrop Fry, to his most famous student, which is Margaret Atwood. And Margaret Atwood, of course, if you've read her work, she's a very strong um, nature aspect to her work all, all throughout. And, and as I started thinking about it, uh, the titles just all seemed to work. So it's really a good thing. Like Margaret Atwood is really an international icon. Well known, and the crooked trees are not from Saskatchewan. So I just wanted to kind of 
juxtapose those two ideas together to create a little bit of tension. Because the treats, I think, are one of the most fascinating places in, in, in the country, really. Right? That's what Bill Renfrew would agree. But, so they need to be brought up a bit. So 